hi students welcome back so we are discussing the different variations of the turing machine so far we have seen the multi type turing machine and non deterministic turing machine okay so in the multi type turing machine you are using multiple types whereas in the non deterministic turing machine you can select in the number of different choices you can select any one of the choice now coming to the third variations of the turing machine that is a multi head turing machine multi head the name itself is saying uh, we are using the multiple heads instead of using one head from the control unit finite control unit we can use the multiple heads so let's see how it works it has a number of head instead of one head okay each head independently read or write so whatever the head you are taking the head 1 head 2 head 3 head 4 everything is independently read or write okay independently there is no dependent relationship between these heads okay okay i am reading you don't read so there is no that much of compromisation because every head is independently read or write symbols and it can move towards the left or right or keep stationary means everything is independent either you can you want you can read or you you want you can write or if you want to keep stationary keep uh, don't do anything and keep stationary or if you want to move towards left move or if you want to move towards right you can move so everything is independent so that is a multi head turing machine so here each cell is pointing to one head okay this head is head 1 this is head 2 and head 3 head 4 b c e g are pointing towards the heads okay and they are moved according to their equation so here you can see in the multi track so this uh, multi head turing machine is placed on a track okay each uh, having the cells so whatever the head that is placed that is suppose head a is pointing towards uh, head 1 and the remaining all the blank spaces and next c is in uh, pointing towards the head so the second track contains c okay and d is not pointing here see here so just uh, leave one blank space and uh, e is pointing and leave one space and g is pointing so like that so everything is a track a b c d e f g whatever the track that is pointing towards the letter that marks the one so this is just a multi track turing machine now coming to the another type of the turing machine that is a variants uh, variations of the turing machine is the offline turing machine so what is this offline turing machine The, an offline Turing machine has two tapes, so it is having two tapes. So far, you have seen only one tape or a multi tape you are using, and the multi heads you are using. But here, the offline Turing machine, we are using the two tapes. Okay, so one tape is read only and contains the input. So let's take one tape. So this tape, what it is doing? It's just perform the read operation only. and contains the input whatever the input that you are given that input is stored on that read only input file means it is not doing any modification the other is read write and initially blank okay so initially starting you didn't do any modifications so initially the complete read write tape is uh, blank only so whenever you try to read the uh, input symbols in this read write only tape and placed on the control unit now from control unit you are reading or writing writing in the another tape so the offline turing machine is consisting of two tapes one is used for only read only input file tape whereas the other tape is used for read and write tape okay so a b c d i have written read okay and the control unit is replacing a b c d with f g h i here we are not doing any modifications it's only contains the input now here the modifications are done in the read write tape we are writing the output so this is about the offline uh, turing machine and the last turing machine the variations of the turing machine is a multi dimensional turing machine so what is this concept multi dimensional means we are having each cell is handling the multi dimensions okay the multi dimensional turing machine has a multi dimensional tape let's see for example a two dimensional turing machine would read and write on an infinite tape divided into squares like a checkerboard so here we are taking a checkerboard because this is a two dimensional matrix 2 by 2 matrix means just uh, 2 by 4 you have written okay like that something so it's a uh, two dimensional matrix it's a rows or there columns or there okay so the two dimensional turing machine would read and write on an infinite tape divided into squares like a checkerboard 
So for a two dimensional Turing machine, a trans transaction function sigma is equal to okay delta that is a q into t determines q into t left right u d. Okay, let's see here. That's a two dimensional address I am taking. So here the control unit is there. So the uh, this is a infinite tape. Infinite tape. Okay, this is an infinite tape. The infinite tape is divided into a uh, number of cells with uh, which are represented in the check uh, chess box. Okay, so this is the uh, checkboard. Okay, so each cell is handling two dimensions. So one minus one. Okay, the point from here. So let's take x coordinate and y coordinate. So because this is a two dimensional, you can take x coordinate and y coordinate. So this is x coordinate so from here if you measure that this is 1 1 and this is 1 2 and here minus 1 1 okay minus 1 1 so like that minus 1 2 so minus 1 2 like that 1 1 so this is everything is arranged in the two dimensional the this is a two dimension uh, multi-dimensional Turing machine so here the control unit and these are all the variables that are placed on the control unit which is a two dimensional address we are taken okay so this is about the multi-dimensional curing machine thank you